Whoops. Hey Lucas, how how are you doing? Uh Let's go. As always, same rules for the goose hunt. Bluff me of the best hand on the river, get your pot doubled. Win against me at showdown, get your pot doubled as well. Um, just make sure to post on socials using hashtag poker code cash and tag poker code. So again, mentioning a couple of things, uh, the goose hunt, how it works, you all know it now, right? You need to bluff me off the best hand on the river. So good job for that uh, guy who bluffed me with 10-6, 10 high, when I had jack high, right? That qualifies, uh, other stuff would not, right? We, we had some, you can call it bluffs, but in reality I had an even worse hand. So um, that did not count at some point. And uh, I like that queen here, I guess, or not. Queen Jack, see you. Okay, so uh, no aces there, but uh, same same thing, but different. And now aces. Okay, so we have we have the goose hunt on, and uh, who's ringing at the door uh, bell right now? I'm confused. Okay, but who else? What else did I want to say? The the giveaway, right? We are giving away every. Evening, I'm streaming, giving away one um, free subscription for Poker Code uh, lasting three months. So um, make sure to participate there. I will announce yesterday's winner later on at 9 p.m. when the happy over, uh, hour is over. I picked the winner already. And uh, again, super close. It's such a tough decision to make every afternoon for me. Uh, but make sure to apply there. And whoa, what I forgot to say actually, so far we did not have that case, um, lucky me, but we made a new rule for the goose hunt and you can win a three month subscription instead. So instead of getting your pot doubled up to 100 bigs, you can get the free three month uh, subscription. Just let us know on social media. You can choose, right? You can get the, what is it, 200 bucks or whatever. Or you can get the 200 euros worth of uh, subscription. Obviously, super happy to see you um, in the Poker Code team. And uh, yeah, it's a, a little extra discount if you want to go for that. Uh, if you want to keep the cash, that's totally fine. If you signed up for Poker Code, I would say you, you take the cash. If not, you should sign up. So um, all cool. Just an, an offer from our side. Oh, I forgot to rebuy here. What happened here? Oh fuck, and now I stabbed and played like that, like a three bad pot, like I usually do. Oh, that sucks. Okay, fucking rebuy. Now I gotta try, I mean, I, I messed up the whole hand with not seeing my stack size. Obviously calling, I don't need to be bluffing guys, but uh, yeah. Usually, I mean, I always want to jam pre there, but I freaking missed the stack size so that I'm talking too much, but uh, okay. So extra money for you. So going for a light three bat here um, versus our friend Lucas Bassa. Whoops. Hey Lucas, how, how are you doing? Uh, let's fast play that a little, I guess. Um, with fast play, I mean, we give him a little rope to hang himself. Okay. I think this is actually too small, so I'll try to make something happen. It's obviously a great hand to just be calling. There's, I mean, obviously hearts suck, but it's still an okay card. I don't care. Um, <clears throat> but given the fact that people need to chase their equity, I like to fast play a little more given that format where they get their pots doubled. And um, whatever this is. I mean, if you can, <laughs> let's stick it in. This is a nice pure bluff into fold now. Um, okay. <laughs> Nice. <laughs> so 
Second hand, very, very tough question. What do you think which stakes are beatable for good regs? What are the stakes where you have to be a pro? It's tough, like where is, where's the threshold between being a good reg and then being a pro? It's, I have no clue, right? Is it, well, this is pretty pro how I flop trims here in the first hand. Um, so I think being a recreational, it will get tough beating higher than NL200. But up to that, if you do it in a smart way, have your style, I think you can you can still beat a lot of stuff. Um, yeah, maybe a little more table selection, maybe play a little more the sides where the regs are not that much, uh, get used to one of the more fancy layouts there. I, I have no clue. Uh, it's a very, very tough question. Yeah, I kind of felt that, that I get called by a king, but I might get called by a freaking... Um, by a freaking ace high sometimes. Ah, revering the straight. Whoa, this is the 4 5 versus 10 5. Ah, that hurts. And let's see what that gets there. So. Until the river, that hand will play itself. And I'll hope that the river, oh, actually not when he checks to me. Um, actually, I prefer betting slightly over checking. Both has to be fine. Now him improving to sometimes uh, the set of queens and some ace jack of diamonds. Um, this is too thin for a value bet. Yeah, that was easy to call hands there. <laughs> okay, yeah, let's call it a day. See you guys tomorrow at 8 p.m. again for the goose hunt. Make sure to participate in the giveaway. Uh, and sorry, tomorrow is not 8 p.m. Tomorrow the goose hunt will start 9.30 because I'm super hyped to go to my football training the first time post-corona, that is at 7.00. So I will be uh, totally done when I get here and there's even more money for you to be won when I play super tired here. So 9.30 it is tomorrow, uh, the Goose Sun, we will release that on socials as well. Next chance to get your pots doubled up to 100 bigs, winning against me. And um, yeah, that's it. Uh, thanks that you all have been here. And I'll send you over to my buddy Q Poker uh, right now, who apparently has some, has some good runs in his uh, MTT schedule. So uh, enjoy that and give him a shout out from me. Uh, say hi and uh, yeah, see you tomorrow.